everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry the lighting's a little bit weird. We got some mood lighting going on. That's because the sun has already set. Um, but today's video, I decided to sit down, do a talk through tutorial. Tell me if you guys like this or if you just want me to do a voiceover like I normally do or if this is more helpful, I'm not sure. But I decided to sit down and talk to you guys about beginner makeup because I just do a lots of normal tutorials but I never really explain what products to use and how I like to use them. So I decided, even though this video is probably going to be pretty long, I just decided to go ahead and do it. Hopefully it'll help you guys out if you're um, in middle school wanting to wear makeup or just starting out with new products and starting out with different makeup products. Um, I hope this helps you. All the products I use, some of them are drugstore, some of them are not, but they can be found at the drugstore if you're on a tighter budget. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. Oh, and thumbs up for Christmas lights. It's the only Christmas decoration I have up, but it makes me so happy. Thumbs it up if you're excited. So this first step that I always use um, is the primer or prep spray, um, but this is totally optional usually. Like when I was starting out with makeup, I didn't use these things, but now it's a must have. If you have more of a normal to combination skin, you may not need this, um, but it's great if you know your makeup's gonna slide off you or your skin's really dry and you would need some extra moisture just or your need to keep shine away, it's great. So my favorite primer is the Benefit Pore Professional. A sort of a dupe for it is the Maybelline Baby Skin. If you don't want to go out and pay this much, however, it's amazing. Um, but if you want to go even quicker, then prep sprays from Urban Decay are the best. They have tons of different kinds. But yeah, skin sprays, they're amazing. You just go like this. You can put it on before, after, during, in the middle, throughout the day after your makeup, like when, whenever, and they're, they're amazing. Next so. is foundation. I just say found, find a foundation that's good for your skin tone, that matches you well. Um, obviously, if, if you have oily skin, you want an oil-free foundation. If you have dry skin, you want a more rich, moisturizing foundation. Um, I've just been using recently the Fit Me Foundation. I have some videos. I'll leave all the video links to like talking about just products or like I have a video about foundation or about brushes I will leave all those links in the description box so you guys can go check them out um, but basically the main thing is finding a foundation that matches your skin tone because the same thing with concealer it can be the best foundation concealer powder in the world but if it doesn't match you then it's not gonna look good so even if you don't spend a whole lot of money on foundation at least try to find a shade that matches you well so and then you can use your fingers brushes sponge whatever works best for you to blend in I say for beginners just use your hands it's really easy make sure they're clean though yeah and make sure to also blend down your neck you don't want any weird lines going on for concealer there's two types of concealer mainly that you want to have um, you may not need both but one is just for under your eyes and my favorite for that is the fake up by benefit I love Benefit products so much. I love it because it has a ring of hydration, so it's not going to dry out your under eyes or get really flaky or crease off. Um, it's just really easy, and I re recommend just applying either in a triangle shape, like that, or just straight down. That's usually what I do. I don't need like two swipes, like a triangle. I just need one, so I usually will do that. And you want to make sure that your under eye concealer is a lighter shade than your foundation, because if it's not, it's not really going to help. But if you use a tint of a lighter shade um, than your foundation or your skin color, then it's really going to brighten your eyes and work a lot better. And the other type of concealer you may want to consider um, is for blemishes and zits and pimples. And for that, you again, with the foundation, you want a shade that matches you really well. I like this one from MAC. Uh, this is the Pro Longwear Concealer, but there are tons of concealers in the drugstore on the market that match your skin tone and are really good. I really like the Maybelline Fit Me as long with the Fit Me foundation. It's amazing. You may not need both. Like right now I only have a few blemishes that sort of my foundation covered up so I'm not going to be using a concealer on top or if you don't really have dark under eye circles you may not need to use this kind of concealer. Maybe you just need to use the one for blemishes. So just find what works for you and make sure if it's under eyes it's a little bit lighter than your skin tone and if it's for blemishes it matches your skin tone correctly. So next, to set it all with, I really recommend using powder. Um, you may need, to, you may not even have to use foundation or concealer at all. Maybe starting out with makeup, you just need powder because powder sets the makeup you have on before. Or if you're not wearing any makeup on, um, if you're not wearing any makeup, then it just evens out your skin tone. It can keep you matte if you have oily skin, 
and it just, I don't know, it just, I never leave the house without powder. It's like my number one thing. If I wear no other makeup, it's just powder. For blush, not everyone starting out with makeup needs blush. Um, if you're more on the paler side, I do recommend it, but you don't want to go overboard, otherwise it's not, you're gonna look like a clown, basically. Um, this one's from Milani. I really like their blushes or Wet n Wild. These are nice because it comes with a little mirror and a brush. Basically, um, how to find your perfect blush shade is just to pinch your cheeks. I know it sort of hurts. It's okay. Toughen up. And whatever color you sort of see, if you can see, I have like weird lighting going on right now, but if you can sort of see that color that shows up on my skin is your natural blush color. Um, so I found this one from Milani that sort of matches as you can see, except it has a little bit of some gold shimmer in it. So yeah, just sort of find one that matches and you want to smile, put it right here on your cheeks and blend. And I applied a little too much, so I'm just going to take the brush I used for powder and I'm just going to buff it in and blend. So yeah, go from your cheeks and then sort of blend upwards. So starting off with makeup again, you may not want to wear eyeshadow. I didn't at all, but if you're wanting to really go out and start with eyeshadow and everything, just like our face, we're gonna prime our eyes. This one is from e.l.f. It's literally $1 and it works very well. Just putting a swipe on my eyelids. You don't have to be neat or anything because you're just gonna blend it in. Using your ring finger, because it's the gentlest finger, you're just going to lightly blend this in. Also with your concealer on the under eyes, any place that's sensitive on your face, basically around your eyes, use your ring finger because it's the most gentle finger and it'll help you blend easy. Um, yeah, so basically you only need three colors to get a professional look. Ready? I'm going to show you how to do it. Right here. Oh, and for all of my brushes, I will leave a link below and a coupon code if you want to get the brushes that I use. They're amazing. They'll last you so long, and their brushes are a really good investment because it's, you use them every day. No matter what product you're using, you'll always use the eyeshadow, your same eyeshadow brush. So, three colors. You need a light. It doesn't have to be shimmery. All these can be matte. All of them can be shimmery. I usually do some shimmery and some matte, um, as you'll see in most of my tutorials, but they don't have to be. So, you're going to take a light shade. Put it on your brow bone, which is right under your eyebrow, inner corner, and then you're going to take your lid color, which is a medium shade. This one happens to be pink, but it can be just a brown or a taupe or cream, whatever. Just the medium color in the palette. So put it on your lid, and then put the darkest color on your brush. You can use three different brushes for this if you don't want to mix the colors, but you can really use the same one, just like I am. And you're just going to put this in the crease and lightly blend it, making sure to really blend. The more product you put on the brush, the darker and more intense the look's gonna be. I didn't wear eyeliner when I was starting out with makeup, but if you want to, go ahead. Um, black can sometimes be a little too much usually, so I recommend going with a light gray, taupe, or brown color. This one is from Stila, and it's in a crayon form. I recommend using either a crayon, a crayon, I cannot talk a crayon form or a pencil, just like this, just because they're the easiest to use and if you happen to mess up, you can easily smudge it out and it sort of blurs your mess up and it's great. So there's like three places basically where you can apply eyeliner. First is on top of your lash line, your lash line basically, your top lash line, which is just sort of on your lid, sort of right where your lashes meet your eyelid. The second place is on your tight line, which is this, it's really weird, this flap of skin, <laughs> weird angles with Hannah, this flap of skin right under your eye, that's going to make your eyelashes look really thick, however, when I started doing it, it hurt because I was like getting it on my eyeball and that's just not fun, so if you don't think you're advanced enough for it, don't do that, um, but basically you'll do this and just align that right there, and the third place is on your waterline, which is this flap of skin right there, I'm just going to show you. Be very gentle in these places. They're very sensitive. Your eyes may water a lot, hence called waterline. But yeah, as you can see, it just makes, this is the difference, no eyeliner, eyeliner. Just makes your eyes a little bit more darker and intense, but I don't always wear it just because sometimes I want the lighter, less makeup look. Now for mascara, I layer mascaras, but basically, Find a mascara that you like. My favorite right now has been the Pumped Up Colossal, but I have tons of other reviews of mascaras on my channel and things. Just find one that works for you. You want it to make your lashes thick and long, but not get clumpy. So find one that works for you and use it. I'm not going to talk about brows because I just feel like that's a whole other video. So if you want me to do a video on that, let me know. Um, but when I first started wearing makeup, I didn't worry about brows. Um, but lastly, we have lips, and for lips, you know I love my baby lips, 
They're amazing, they're cheap, they're moisturizing, they have a little hint of color, perfect for beginners. Oh, they're amazing. Um, or what I've been really loving recently is something close to that. It's the NYX Butter Lip Balm. I have mascara all over my hand. My, ooh, the sun has set and the lighting is weird. But um, yeah, it's just like the same thing from NYX. Drugstore, cheap, and very nice. Also, if you want a little lip gloss, go ahead. Life's too short to not wear a little lip gloss every now and then. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you try out any of these looks or if any of these tips or tricks help you, make sure to tweet me, Instagram me, DM me, whatever it takes, or comment below, um, because I would love to hear about it. And yeah, that's going to be it for now, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Trumpets, they go! Whoop.